Recent weather data has been colder trending with systems for mid next week into the following week, focused over the Midwest and Great Lakes with lows of 30s and 40s. However, this late in the heating season, above normal HDDs just will not translate into as much demand. In addition, cooling will also push at times into Texas and the South to prevent hot conditions for the loss of CDDs. But the markets are likely seeing added HDDs this week and likely helped aid prices somewhat, even though the next several builds will still be rather sizable. The image shows temperatures versus normal late next week and where the cool conditions are focused over the Midwest, while very warm over the West. But again, this late in the season, HDDs just will not drive as much demand compared to core winter and where we believe the natural gas markets would prefer hotter trends over colder trends to suggest summer heat will arrive early. Nevertheless, U.S. storage inventories are not expected to improve much in May and could help keep prices afloat. The chances of a triple-digit build appear to be dwindling, and the next storage report could expand the deficit further. Some analysts said the next five EIA storage reports could average 96 billion cubic feet per week. Meanwhile, EIA reported New York nuclear power plant was shut down permanently on Friday. The Unit 3 retirement removed almost 1,040 megawatt of nuclear generating capacity from New York, leaving about 3,200 megawatt of remaining nuclear capacity at three plants in upstate New York. The nuclear facility's retirement would likely increase the call on natural gas fire generation by nearly 0.2 billion cubic feet per day. Through the end of the injection season, the shutdown of Indian Point Unit 3 alone could add 35 billion cubic feet of local power sector demand. All these factors would bode well for prices. However, that is not to say there won't be some hiccups along the way, particularly in the near term.